According to Catamaran blog, this is the best way to dry your clothes in Catamaran. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. The wind comes through the net and dries clothes on both sides. At least that's the theory of it. I guess we'll see. Look how pretty the store is. Look at him, a real puffer fish. I'm gonna put that under your pillow one night if you're not behaving. Today we came to find this durian perigame waterfall, which is supposed to be outstanding. Come on, let's check it out. Now we are discovering Malaysia. A real one, amazing waterfall. And this is one of many at Langkawi. Let's go see them all. Yeah. Imagine you're a kid and you're gonna to get to come play in a waterfall instead of a shower, out of control. What's interesting about here is you can see like little authentic houses behind me that anybody can just come here and hang out for the day, occupy one of those, put all your stuff in and then just swim in the waterfalls. And on top of it all, you can grill your own chickens. This is amazing. A mesmerizing island and mesmerizing country. Everybody should come and check this one out. What's interesting about here is that in the USA, there is gonna be so much tape. You can't go here, you can't go there. And here, kids are literally swimming in the waterfalls and all kinds of other people. You can just go over the railing and do whatever you please. There's nobody here. Yana was gonna go down this trail. She must have seen spiders, monkeys, cobras, some kind of an animal that made her turn around and race her ass back. Here she is. <laughs> I realized that there was a tape there and I'm like, huh, whatever. So I started to walk and I'm like, oh no, this is this long tall grass that I was reading about that the snakes are hiding in. I'm like, maybe not. <laughs> the off-grid woman of the century. <laughs> oh my God, I almost fell down. <laughs> and I'm gonna be rescuing her out of a waterfall where the kids are playing in. <laughs> I can't catch my breath and William is there jumping like a little wild goat. I'm so out of shape. Naturally we got all the way up here and there is this waterfall where we can actually swim under the waterfall and none of us has swimsuits. If you ever were wondering what the sexy girl is wearing under, this is what it is. <laughs> Granny stop. Now I know where all my underwear has gone to. So, I'm gonna go, but I need my underwear back. <laughs> Here he goes! I'm sure he was laughing at me. We'll see how he goes. Well, that was worth a million bucks. Amazing, the power. But have you noticed that you can't get in the middle? Not possible. Even how hard you try, it's like, sorry little guy, I am the power. <laughs> get out of my way. And the movies are underneath the waterfall. Oh, it's so beautiful. Bullshit. <laughs> Thank you.
pretty cool. They have a line going from the bottom here all the way up to their house. So they hook their groceries and things on and they pull it up. And then when they want to drop trash or something, they slide it back down again. So they're not carrying it. And there's a sign that says private property. So that's actually somebody's home up there. It's not some camper. There are different seasons. And depending on the season, there is a different level on the waterfall. So if you're not paying attention and you're in the wet season, you might be washed away. Well, my friends, yesterday we were unlucky and this amazing place was closed. So we came back. I'm gonna try this amazing lobster shack. I think it's gonna eat me instead of me eating him. Now my friends, remember in Bahamas we saw one abandoned something that we thought was a fish farm. Well, this ones are right here the same, working ones. So this is abandoned fish farm that right now is washed out because of the hurricane. William ordered a lobster and he's gonna go and catch it. Sorry, guy. I feel bad, but man's got to eat. I think this is more dangerous than the waterfall. <laughs> Those are made for... Lankawi girls. Lankawi girls. Not for big girls like me. Looks like we have a feast going here. So far, the best shrimp I've tried. I also think we went a little overboard with food. He lived a good life. Today we're saying goodbye to our captain. He looks very happy to to go home. <laughs> William forgot to check the fuel, so we have flashing one kilometer. So we hope we're gonna make it to the gas station. Not not like there are a lot of them. Otherwise, Captain and God are gonna push, <laughs> and William's still gonna drive. <laughs> well, we have about four kilometers left to the gas station and our car is flashing in the last kilometer of one kilometer left so we'll see if we're gonna make it or not. <laughs> so. Clearly getting fuel here when it's available you have to jump and luckily we got in the front of the line. A liter of water costs more than a liter of fuel. Okay, scooter, you can drive for 100 years here. I was just gonna say, you better go, he's in the line behind. Know, and people like... are gonna get upset. All right, see you in the back. Okay, last goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. You think... Thank, uh... thank you for you guys, everybody. And we'll yeah. see you in the other side. Yes, yes. thank you for uh, helping us not to sink the boat. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we have to say, up and down. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yesterday it was blowing like crazy. All the clothes moved. Poor William's shirt is laying in the water and it's soaking wet, even more wet than it was after the washing. Looks like I have to use the bins. Now a huge storm is coming behind me and uh, I better take this all the way and put it inside because another disaster can be happening. William is also claiming that there was rain in the morning today so he said that the wash got another cycle. He broke some branches and cut him about that long, put him in his hand and went over and he's building a nest with the leaves and the branches. Giant Malay squirrel. It's black and it's one of the biggest squirrels in the world. It looks like a monkey. <laughs> right there, look at In search of an outboard. Don't ask me why. My friends, this looks like the place where we should be killed.
It's pretty crazy that any part you can imagine is here. Like anything, it's hanging on the wall. <laughs> These fruits will have to be exterminated <laughs> because they have ants all over but I've realized that if I'm not gonna buy them here I'm not gonna buy them anywhere because any fruit stand we stop have thousands of ants on, on them Alright guys, I hope you're ready for this Monkeys are ready for sure Close the window, window! It's locked. <laughs> it doesn't go up. You didn't cut them apart? No. You're supposed to cut them in independent balls. Oh. One guy grabbed the whole bunch and <laughs> ran away. She's, where's the knife? I give her the knife, she throws seven balls away. One guy grabs it and takes off and they're all like looking like... <laughs> well, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> I have more, wait. Are you recording them? No. <laughs> you said you're recording them. <laughs> I think... The little ones are afraid of the big ones that they're not getting anything. They're now two little ones, two little ones. Okay, wait. One way William got right. a plan. You're gonna throw one way to the right so the big fool goes over there and then throw a little to the little guys. Look at they're all standing there like what are you doing? <laughs> Why you wanna throw to the little one? Because a big fool doesn't need any more. <laughs> Just because he's big doesn't mean he's not hungry. He doesn't need any more. <laughs> I also expect all the commenters do not feed the wildlife. <laughs> that car's feeding them something else. <laughs> You've been beaten. I see that. Yeah, look at this dude here. He's gonna be overweight. Who needs natural fruit? Did you have fun? Now I have learned everything about monkeyology. <laughs> they take the ball of the fruit and they put it under here, and then another one under here. And then the third one, they can't fit, <laughs> so they, they just start kind of slowly chewing on it, yeah. Well, this one can't be taken by the big guy. These guys eat like Yana does. She takes everything and puts it in her mouth, so there's nothing left. Because of you, big guy. The little beast. <laughs> you hear her, she's like, just because he's big doesn't mean he's not hungry. Because <laughs> in Thailand and Malaysia, she's big. <laughs> <laughs> Yana comes in the restaurant. Let the big guy eat. <laughs>